Okay, let's try the first question here. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. It's written in brackets like this. It's in the form to read off um, the solutions that would make this zero. Well, I can see that one minus one is zero, so x equals one. And th if this is six minus six would be zero, so that must be three. Two times three is six. So one or three is the solutions to this. You just read them off. This is the quadratic formula. A is one, B is minus uh, seven, C is minus seven. And you just put it in the quadratic formula just like this. That's going to give you a plus 28. That's going to give you 49. That'll be positive seven all over two. Put that in your calculator. You get two answers, seven comma eight nine or negative zero comma eight nine. Now the next question, people always get the first part right. They put it in standard form. And then they either factor it or use the formula to make sure they get the roots here, what makes it equal to zero, which is one half or minus five thirds. And you can see that it multiplies out 2x times 3x is 6x squared plus 10x minus 3x, going to give you the plus 7x. And <coughs> you can see that it factors right, so a half and minus five thirds. But the question is, what values of x? will be positive, will be greater than zero. Well, if you think of this as a parabola, which it is, y equals this thing, if you graphed it, you are looking at the positive sign to the left of minus 5 thirds or to the right of 1 half. You could test it as well and see that it's negative in between here. But when x is less than negative 5 over 3 or x is greater than a half, that's when this function will be greater than zero. Okay, that's your, there you go.